7 tutorial. This is just a basic tutorial for people who have never used Word or just started using Word. The first thing we want to do is opening Microsoft Word. Let's go to the start menu, click on it, click on all programs, then let's go to Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word. Okay. After we've opened Microsoft Word, if this is your first time, it may look daunting with all the buttons, tabs, and menus. But don't worry, I'm going to show the features today to be productive with Word. Just before we actually do anything, let's look at the part of the interface so you'll know what you're looking at. Word 2007 interface contains tabs on the top. Each tab contains groups called ribbons. Groups are specific to each tab. They will change based on which tab you're currently sitting on. You also have this button called the Office button, which contains your common commands like New, Open, Save, etc. Office button is available to you anytime you need it. We are going to start with New Word Document. If you don't have it open, click on the Office button and choose New. Click on Blank Document and hit Create. To input new text in the blank document, you can simply type new text. This is my new document. Now we can order to navigate the text by clicking on the mouse anywhere in the text. Or we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to do the same thing. Now I'm going to show you how to highlight a text. In order to highlight the text, click on the left mouse button and move along the text. After it is highlighted, you can format the text by going to the Format tab. It doesn't matter if the document is empty, you can still save it. Now, save is a very important function because save allows us to retrieve the document next time whenever we need it. To save the document, come up to the Office button and press Save As. Now a new window will open. On that window, you'll see that where our file is going to be saved. Now we can save it on any folder we want. We're going to save it on Training folder. We'll click on Training now we we'll come up to the file name. It automatically picks a name according to the first words or sentences on your document. But we're going to change it. It's very important that we have a name we want to save it as something that we'll remember and is relevant. I'm going to write my new document as a file name. Now there are different tabs on save as type, but I'm not going to go through it right now because this is just an introductory word. Now hit save. Now you'll notice that at the top that it doesn't say document one, it says my new document. The title has been changed. 